Well, shooters and reloaders, Fortune Cookie 45 LC coming to you from the hot lead zone. And the topic of this video is the commonly seen now federal premium low recoil slugs. We're going to take this slug and dissect it and go from there. But let's go ahead and wish everybody a happy Father's Day coming up. And I got this from Eastwood Powders just recently and it says save with our Father's Day sales that they have running and notice that the nice thing about powder coating for our bullets is that Eastwood and I'm sure the other powder companies also have new powders coming online all the time and so here we have 14 new powders that Eastwood is featuring in this ad so look forward to getting some new colors of Eastwood powders for our review in the future. But now back to our video. Now as you see here, picked up over the course of two consecutive range sessions, I've got about 150, at least 150, of these Federal Low Recoil Slug empty hulls that I can use to load slugs easily. And the best hulls for reloading slugs are these once fired factory slug empties and I like these Federals because they're a little shorter to begin with so I can do roll crimps easily with, without having to do any cutting of the cases or shortening of them they're already the right length for us to roll crimp straight up so 150 that's a good amount to have and I'm picking those up all the time so I'll be adding to our cache here of empty hulls of Federals. Give you an idea, you see how the Federal Premium Low Recoil Slug is already shorter than your two and three quarter inch shell. This one happens to be a Magnum Slug by Federal. So this is low recoil. So as you see the Federal two and three quarter inch Magnum Slug load is actually longer than two and a quarter inches it's almost 2.4 inches long whereas the federal low recoil slug is actually less than two and one quarter inches long is short by 0.05 and it's this short feature of the low recoil slug hull that makes it so attractive for us in our roll crimping so I went ahead and used my case cutter and cut off the roll crimp as you see there and that allows the slug to come out and notice that the slug has a little ball that fits into the top wad let's go ahead and take the wads apart so here's what we found when we took that shell apart and this is very interesting the slug is a regular foster slug for a factory but notice we can't buy these and we can't cast these either this exact slug we cannot get except by buying the loaded ammunition the diameter of the slug is 730 now as you know our cylinder bores are 729 so this will ride the barrel nicely it's fitted to our cylinder bore barrels and if shot into a improved cylinder choke it'll work very well with that also now the purpose of the rifling is not to impart spin on the slug but rather in case any shooter happens to mistakenly shoot this through a full choke it'll allow passage through a full choke without blowing the gun up so aha uh -huh, what we have here is the federal true ball technology let's discuss that now notice the wad that's inside that shell this is a very tough wad very strong columns here and yet compressible and the over powder section has a 
obturator that is deeper than any target wad that we've ever seen. That goes in there a long way. It's very deep obturator. And instead of a post that goes up inside the back end of the slug, there is a fitted nylon ball that goes into the slug but sticks out of the back end of the slug as you see so that it mates with the wad there so that when this compresses that ball actually will keep the slug centered in the wad at all times Notice that the wad is also exactly the same diameter as the slug. So how's that for a perfectly mated system to fit into the barrel of our cylinder bore guns? Now this slug is designed to be shot through a smooth bore and not through a rifled barrel. But you'd have to do your own test with a rifled barrel to see if that would actually give you a positive result with this setup. So once again, this is the core of the factory slug and it's something that we cannot get. We can't get this, we can't get that, and we can't get that. Now, if we take this combo and compare it with the features of our slugs that are inserted into trap wads that were never designed to be used for slugs in the first place. And it's little wonder why we cannot get the, the accuracy and performance of factory slugs with our reload slugs. We can beat these for economy, but we can't beat these for performance and accuracy. At least not very often unless we have a miracle barrel that really likes those reloads of ours. Also, it's quite worthy to report to you that that wad was very tight in this shell. It was placed into the shell without any damage to the wad, and we can't get that kind of fit with our reload slugs either. The powder looks very similar to red dot shotgun flake powder without the red dots. The 22.6 grains is very consistent with what a target load of shotgun powder would be, giving us a muzzle velocity somewhere around 1300 feet per second, consistent with a reduced recoil uh, shotgun slug. So it'll still be fun reloading these for our own use, and even though we can't get the performance and accuracy of factory slugs, we can get kind of close to that. 